How's it going, guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse, and I'm here with Laura Thweet, Saucony Pro Athlete, 225 Marathoner. And today, we are going to be going into your full shoe lineup. Now, you are in the heat of marathon season, and I think the perfect place to start is the shoe that you're putting in the most miles in your daily trainer. What's going to be your best pick? Yeah, so the shoe that takes the brunt of my marathon training is the Triumph that shoe can take a beating. Um, and the new foam in that baby is just, it's soft, it's cushioned, but I also get that responsiveness and it can just handle the miles. Like my first pair, I think I put almost a thousand miles on them. And the only reason I stopped running in that shoe was with the upper. <laughs> I wore through the upper before I felt like I wore through the outsole and just the cushioning. Um, so it's made to take a beating. So that's definitely the shoe that I'm in um, for the majority of my just like everyday miles. Okay, so you're getting the most miles in that shoe. Is there any other daily trainers you mix in between? Yeah, so I'm also using the Tempest. Um, to me, the Tempest has a little bit more of that responsive pop to it, and it has just a little bit of guided stability. Um, so on days kind of in between like the longer run days um, and days that I'm just feeling a little bit more on top of it and I want just a little bit more of that kind of pop or a little bit more of that guidance, that firmness underneath my foot, um, I'll hop in the Tempest. It feels a little bit lighter to me as well um, without being like kind of like a speedy ratio. Um, so that's the other one that I've been primarily um, like alternating with the Triumph. Okay, so Tempest and Triumph, you're getting most of the daily miles, but let's pick it on up to workout day, tempo runs, track workouts, anytime you're getting that turnover going, what is gonna be your shoe of choice? Yeah, so I'm loving the speed. Um, I do quite a bit of my workouts in that guy. Um, I like that it, you know, you still have that kind of race day feel like you would in like a pro um but it just doesn't have that carbon fiber plate in it so i feel like i can get a little bit more durability out of that shoe um so i'm using that um i occasionally alternate it with the pro um and sometimes i throw in the Convara. just you know you got to keep a little old school in there you know you don't want to get too <laughs> i like to kind of mix up um just what's underneath my foot um and so sometimes getting out of uh, just kind of that like newer technology and putting like the tried and true Convar on um, just kind of mixes things up for me. So Exactly. Everyone's talking about Super Shoes carbon plates, but having a good mixture of carbon, mm -hmm. TPU, and the no plate is good for workout yep. day. But now we're moving to race day. Pure performance. What's going to be your pick? The Elite. Um, love that shoe. It used to be the Pro, it was also a great shoe, um, but the Elite for me race day just stands alone. Um, it just has, you know, it's a little bit firmer than the Pro. Um, it has a little bit more of that toe spring, so that propulsion for me feels very different. Um, it just has a little bit more of an aggressive feel to it. Um, so that's definitely the big race day shoe for sure. All right, Laura, from daily training to workout day to race day, you've got a shoe to fit the needs. If you are a runner at home who wants to run like the best, <laughs> run like Laura, you can find any of these shoes at Running Warehouse.